The S&P was down 1.8% or a little bit over 72 points for the day. It looked like the fear might be uh, getting the 20% uh, correction. Will they get the wish fulfilled or there's still a chance for the bulls to look for a breakout? And here looking at this daily chart here, you can see the price uh, still above this trend line here. And the bear is looking for the price to break this trend line and start coming down and possibly take out this October low. Now the bulls is still looking for a bounce to get back above this uh, trend line here and possibly take out this high and put in a higher high. And if we take a look at this four hour chart here on the SPY, remember we were talking about this uh, level here, this HVN at 402.31. We're saying if it could hold above this level, then we're looking for a bounce to come up and uh, get above this LVN and possibly move up toward the upper range of the weekly expected move. Well, today it came down and was trying to hold this level and it was unsuccessful and it came down and tagged the uh, lower range of the weekly expected move. And that's basically what we were saying on a downside scenario from the last video that I posted. So and if we uh, go and take a look at the 30 minute chart and we could see here on this 30 minute chart here, you see that the price came down to this level here and trying to get back above it, but unable to hold above it. And as soon as it broke, then we basically just watched the price came down to this lower range of the expected move. And now we are watching to see will price come down and test this trend line tomorrow. And will it break this trend line come down to this 394.94, this HVN here? Or will we uh, get a bounce and come back up and uh, take back the uh, 402.31 and then push us back up to this LVN here at 407.51? And looking at this chart here with the uh, internals, we see that the uh, new high new low we actually got six more new 52 week high than 52 week low in the new york stock exchange but look at the uh, up down volume ratio at this point here was like uh, minus 17 so that was 17 to 1 in favor of the down volume and finished the session at minus 11.7 so it's almost 12 to 1 on the downside and the vix is still hovering near this 20 level Although it dipped below and got back above it, but it's still pretty complacent. The market participants are still not showing much of fear in this market here. And the put call ratio did come up a bit and coming back up at 0.82 or 0.83. So it is a little bit more of a hedge rather than uh, putting on risk. But the uh, uh, advanced decline, we saw 2,162 uh, more declining issue an advancing issue at the end of the session. So definitely it was a broad based uh, sell off today. And looking at this chart here, you see that the down volume you know, outnumbered the up volume throughout the session and also the advanced decline just deteriorate as the uh, trading session progressed. Also the cumulative take was negative throughout the entire session as well. And that is also uh, true in the NASDAQ market as well, you see the AD also uh, decline as the day progressed, same with the cumulative ticks. So the uh, Russell 2000 uh, up-down volume ratio was a little bit uh, under five to one in favor of the downside. The NASDAQ is three and a half to one in favor of the downside. Like I said at the end of the session on New York Stock Exchange, it's almost 12 to one in favor of the down volume. Now, some of you might have not watched to the end of my last video and uh, where I make the uh, announcement that I have posted uh, a uh, post on my Substack page on the FANG stock and you might want to go and check them out. And I have Apple, Tesla, and uh, Netflix and uh, so forth. And here's the uh, uh, Apple chart that I post. And I said, watch the price to come up to this HVN and the uh, trend line here and then look for a rejection back down toward the uh, LVN, which is this uh, 147.82 and toward the uh, lower range of the uh, expected move. And here on this chart here, you can see that Apple uh, came up to this trend line here and also this HVN 
and got rejected back down and dipped below this LVN of 146.99 and got a little bit of a bounce and try to uh, reclaim this uh, LVN here at the end of the session. So for tomorrow, we'll be uh, watching to see will Apple be able to come back up and reclaim this LVN and push back up to this uh, uh, HVN, you know, back test this 149.90 or would it just continue to uh, get a, a rejection from this LVN and push it down to the uh, lower range of the expected move. So if you want to follow on this uh, Apple and uh, Tesla and all the other Fang Plus stock, go check out my Substack page at uh, smtraderca.substack.com. Thank you for watching and be sure to smash that thumbs up to help me promote this video and stay safe.